decided to do an experiment of what it would look like if someone ingested 40 grams of fish oil a day for 30 days. Um, and 40 grams to most people would sound just otherworldly high, but if you look back at uh, ancestral data, 40 grams is, is you know, not that high. It's not that big a deal to take in that much, that much oil. Um, split between two doses, so 20 grams in the morning, 20 grams in the evening. Um, again, for me personally, I didn't really notice a lot other than about three days in, I noticed a very, very, very sharp focus, um, concentration and focus, and visually, uh, an acuity that was, that I could tell was a lot different. It, it was very, very sharp. It was almost like being on a very, very, very slight dose of LSD. Just clear, vibrant colors. Um, yeah, everything just, I hate to use this term, but everything popped, right? It was just, um, but other than that, not a whole lot. I didn't feel, um, I really didn't have any aches and pains to be able to assess, um, you know, any kind of anti-inflammation. Uh, my knee, yes, my knee did resolve a little. So there was a little bit of anti-inflammation inf properties involved with that. Um, interestingly enough, I did a uh, omega-3 test prior and an omega-3 test after the 30 days, and as one might expect, I was off the charts on the U.S. side of things after the 30-day experiment, but if I were to compare my results to someone from, say, Finland, um, not extraordinary, kind of middle of the pack, um, which would lead one to, to think that uh, there is an accumulation process over a long period of time, um, if someone's exposed to a high level of uh, omega-3s over a long period of time. And it would also suggest that being able to uh, make up for that deficit in 30 days is not really going to happen. Um, so now, um, so we ran for, ran for 30 days. I really didn't see a whole lot of change. I could see that somebody who had some real inflammation issues might notice a substantial change. Um, and right now, my uh, current omega-3 is what, uh, 15 grams a day is a... Surely, yep. So we back, which is still astronomically high for U.S. standards, um, but it is 15 grams a day. But the other thing is that you, I'm just going to add this so you remember, you had the complete decrease in, in sugar. Oh, that was another one. Yeah, thank you. You should have her up here. On the <laughs> um, so one thing I did notice, I, I don't have an extraordinarily high sweet tooth. Um, but any craving for sugar I may have had was done. It was completely gone. And it wasn't like an, oh, I'm sick to my stomach, I don't want to eat anything. It wasn't like that at all. I just didn't have the, the want. Even after a very, very, very hard workout that would normally, if I have a very hard workout, if I'm going to have a sweet tooth, which makes sense, I'm trying to restore glycogen stores, um, that's when it will hit. But it, even after a very, very hard workout, I didn't that didn't hit and uh, the first two weeks it had an overall appetite blunting effect so I naturally uh, intermittent fast um, I rarely if ever eat breakfast um, so I, I think I normally run on about a 16 hour a day fast just generally and that's not hard and fast it's just uh, part of the time it's not hard and fast but it's just the way things work out um, but I remember after the, maybe the third or fourth day on this protocol, I was, I was in the gym and got busy, um, tried to squeeze in a workout, and I was deadlifting with some pretty heavy weight, and I started to get dizzy, and now it's like 5 o'clock, and I'm like, why am I, what's up with this? Why am I feeling dizzy? I was like, oh crap, I haven't eaten in 24 hours, and I'm having a, you know, blow the carbon out workout on top of this. So, all that is to say, it was some very... I don't know if I would call them odd, but unique kind of uh, side effects of the, of the high-dose fish oil, some of which are very, very cool, um, and some of which may help somebody. Um, it, I, I would say if I had a client who had an uncontrollable sweet tooth, or if I had a client with some severe uh, inflammation issues, that might be a consideration.